Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can encrypt files and put them onto a DVD or a CD so that you can store them away for backup purposes or whatever it is that you need it for um, using free software which is Disk Cryptor for the actual encryption and Burn Aware free version for the ability to just first get your files into a format that can be burnt as a disk. So first of all, if you look in the description, you'll find the two download links to download these. So you want to get the burn aware free and get the installer for the disk crypto. So let's go ahead and install burn aware. Hit run. Yes. Okay, next, accept the agreement. There it is if you want to read it. Next, 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 install. So as I say, this is the software we're going to use to initially get our files into what's called an ISO file, which is an image, which I shall be showing you very soon. We get a web page comes up, lets us know we've successfully installed it. We can close that, that's fine. Now we install Disk Crypto. Run. Yes. Next. There's the agreement. Ex accept on that. Next, 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 next. Install. Very simple. Now we need to reboot in order to get Disk Crypto to work correctly. So I shall reboot now and you will see me in two seconds. Okay, I have rebooted now. So now we have Burn Aware Free and Disk Crypto. If you have some other software that you prefer to be able to make ISO files from files that you have on your system, you could use that instead. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use Burn Aware Free. So let's run that now. And what we need to do is hit Make ISO. Okay, here we go. Put it on Universal Disk Format. Let's close that. Now, this is a folder containing tracks that I've made over some years and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this folder into this window in this big white area here and down here you'll see we can select what kind of disk we're going to be burning this to so if you have a DVD you put it on DVD if you've got 700 megabyte disks and it should tell you this on the actual disk most of the time so if you've got dual layer DVDs, you could use that. So I'm just going to put this on a 700 meg CD. So we've got the folder in there with all the files that I want. So now once I've got everything in there and make sure that it fits inside here. So it tells me that with the stuff I have in here now, there's 552 megabytes free. So just be aware of that. Don't overload it because it won't work. Once you've got everything you want for this disk, you hit make. And then we give it a file name. So I'm going to put this on the desktop and call it nonencrypted.iso. Hit save. So that's now saving everything into an ISO format, which you could actually burn as it is but it wouldn't be encrypted. So let's hit the X now that this is done. Here's the non-encrypted version. So now we'll double click on Disk Cryptor. Hit yes. And in order to encrypt this, we go to Tools, go down to Encrypt CD, so we'll select that. Then we need to pick the ISO we just made, so I'll go to the desktop scroll down oh, there we go and then we need to save um, a new file name for where the encrypted version is going to go so that's fine I'll leave the file name for that because it just puts encrypted at the beginning of the file name so that's fine I'll know what it is 
So hit save, next, and then the same as I showed you in the previous video for doing system encryption, you can select the algorithm that you want. So just for speed, I'm going to leave it on AES. If you want a really good algorithm that's entirely secure, go with Serpent. And if you have hardware acceleration for AES, you could actually pick Serpent and AES together and have only a slight minimal impact to the speed. But I'm just going to go with AES for this demonstration and then hit next. Then type in your password. Okay, then hit next. Alright, so that is now encrypted. So all we need to do now is to burn this encrypted version. And um, it's the same process as I showed you in the previous uh, disk cryptor video. When you burn the boot disk, you just right click on this encrypted one and go to burn disk image, put the disk in the drive and hit the burn button. So I'm going to get this done now. I will be one moment. Let me cancel this. Okay, so it's burnt and the disk is in the drive. So if I go to computer, here is the disk. So I click it, application not found. Let's go to open and there's nothing in here at all. So let's go back to disk cryptor, find the DVD drive or your CD drive, whichever it is. And you can either click it on here with the left click and then click on mount up here on the button where you can just right click on it and hit mount then type in the password and hit the OK button and now if I double click on this it will open it up and now we can see here's the folder and here's all my files so now this disk it's as if I just put in a completely unencrypted disk and it just loads. So this is a really simple way of you being able to have encrypted backups that you can store away on CDs and DVDs that is simple for you to access them after the fact. With other kinds of programs to do encryption, you would have to have a big massive file on the DVD copy it off to your desktop and then decrypt it which then so you've now taken up a whole dvd's worth of space now you've got to decrypt it and extract things out of it which takes twice the amount of space but with this you don't have to do any of that you simply just mount it and it will come up in the exact same place and it works the exact same way as if you just put a normal disk into the drive so I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please like and subscribe and you will get access to all the new videos as soon as they are available. So thank you and I will see you on the next video.